Welcome to the tutorial on 3D modeling of a cross. Support the channel by liking and subscribing. And we begin. Select all objects and delete. Press A. Then delete. Switch to front view by pressing 1. Switch to orthographic mode by pressing 5. Add a reference to the scene. Press Shift plus A. Then image. Background. Select an image. Link to the image in the description under the video. Align the image along the x-axis and z-axis. Press G then X. Same with the z-axis. Press G then Z. Move the image along the y-axis, G then Y. Add a plane to the scene, Shift plus A, Mesh, Plane. Rotate along the x-axis by 90 degrees, R, X, 90. Go to edit mode by pressing Tab. Change scale, S. Move along the z-axis, G, Z. Add edge, Control plus R. Press B. Select two vertices. Delete them. X. Vertices. Exit editing mode by pressing tab. On the modifiers tab, add the mirror modifier. Mark clipping. In edit mode, move vertices. Extrude vertices, press E. Add edge, control plus R. Move the added edge along the X axis, G. X. Extrude vertices. Press E. Add edge. Control plus R. Move the vertices. G. Duplicate image, Shift plus D. Rotate the image along the Z axis by 90 degrees, R, Z, 90. Switch to side view by pressing 3. Align the image by moving it using the G key. Select a plane and switch to editing mode by pressing tab. Select all vertices by pressing A. Extrude along Y axis, E, Y. In the front view, switch to wireframe mode by pressing Z. Select vertices and move them. Align vertices to X axis, S, X. Move them. Switch to Face Selection Mode. Select the faces and extrude them along the Y-axis. E, Y. Switch Vertex Selection Mode. Delete selected vertex.
Delete selected face. X. Faces. In vertex selection mode, add one edge by pressing Ctrl plus R. Move it all the way to the end by pressing G twice. Move while holding Ctrl. G. Control. Select vertices. Press F. Apply the modifier by pressing Ctrl plus A. Add bevel modifier. Change values. Press the right mouse button. Select Shade Smooth. Add Subdivision Surface Modifier. Change Values. Select the vertices by pressing C. This must be done in wireframe mode to select the top and bottom vertices. Move the vertices so that an acute angle appears. Delete the right side of the object. Wireframe mode. Press C. Select the vertices by pressing B. Press X. Vertices. Add mirror modifier. Move it above all modifiers. Apply modifier by pressing Ctrl plus A. Press Ctrl plus A and apply location. Rotation. Scale. Now the geometric center of the object is in the middle. Add the 3D cursor. Add the mirror modifier again. Flip along Z axis. Apply modifier. Duplicate an object by pressing Shift plus D. Rotate 90 degrees. R. 90. In edit mode. Select part of vertices. Move Z axis. Scale along the X axis by pressing S. X. Move selected vertices. Scale along the x-axis by pressing S, X. Add one edge by pressing Ctrl plus R. Scale along the x-axis by pressing S, X. Perform the same scaling operations. When recording a video, I scaled the object not only along the x-axis but also along the y-axis. So I will align all the vertices. You don't need to do this since there is nothing wrong with your object.
add a circle to the scene. Number of vertices 12. Rotate X axis 90 degrees. Scale. Add subdivision surface modifier. Change values. Scale. Extrude inward. Press E. S. Select the outer vertices and in the side view extrude them along the y-axis. Press F, then I, then I, then I, then M. At center, move inner vertices along the y-axis. Add an edge and scale it. Extrude inner vertices along y-axis. Press F. Then I, then I, then I, then M. At center. Apply shade smooth. Add bevel modifier and move it up. Change values. Add a plane. Rotate. In edit mode, delete three vertices. Move the remaining vertex. Extrude vertex. Press Ctrl plus A and apply location, rotation, scale, add mirror modifier, change values, extrude, the object needs to be converted to a curve. To do this, press the spacebar and write convert, select convert, curve, on the curves tab. Change the values. In edit mode, change the position of the vertices. Add subdivision surface modifier. Shade smooth.
Remove subdivision surface modifier. Press spacebar and write convert. Select convert. Mesh. Add subdivision surface modifier. Select vertices. Press F. 